This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this smoke effect using GIMP. And at any point in this tutorial, you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. Uh, in order to follow along with this tutorial, you'll need a specific uh, smoke uh, brush, a set of brushes. Uh, to install into GIMP. I'll have a link to that in the description of the video. The brushes are actually made for Photoshop, but you can install them into GIMP the same way you would a GIMP brush. It should work just the same. So, uh, The first thing we're going to do in GIMP is um, we're going to set up a new document. So we'll go to File and go to New. And we want our document to be 1280 by 720. Or we could actually make that a little bigger. I just made it this size because that's the size of the YouTube thumbnail. I'll just make this 1280 by uh, 1000. Go ahead and click OK. And uh, uh, you know what? I, sh I should back up there. I missed a step. Uh, 1280 by 1000. We're going to want to go to Advanced Options. And Color Space RGB. Fill with the background color. And if you see here on my screen, I have the foreground set as black and the background set as white. So make sure you have those set like that. And then go ahead and click OK. And it should start you out with a white document like that. And what we want to do is we just want to fill this fill this in with black. So we'll just um, grab the bucket tool. Make sure you have ba uh, black selected as the foreground. Go ahead and fill it in. Or you could have just started out with a black document either way. Uh, and what we want to do now is import our picture of uh, this man's face we're going to use. This image right here. I'll have that linked in the description as well. So um, I'm just going to click and drag that into GIMP. And we're going to want to scale that down. So we'll go to the scaling tool. And then click on the image, hold control on the keyboard and grab one of the corners and scale it down. Maybe about that much. Go ahead and click scale. And I'll grab the move tool and I'll just put this right about here. We want the face to be centered on the vertical axis, but on the horizontal axis, we don't want it to be too high up because the smoke is going to be going up above his face like you see here. So we want to have this right about there. That's pretty good. And what we want to do now is convert that to um, black and white. So we'll go to uh, our grayscale, actually. We'll go to Colors and Desaturate. And you got these three different options here. It'll show you a preview of Lightness, Luminosity, Average. Um, I'm going to go with Luminosity. Go ahead and click OK. And what we want to do now is create a new layer. Actually, I just want to move this down a little bit. I'm going to grab the Move tool. I'm just going to move that down a little bit. That's pretty good. And now we'll go and create a new layer. Click the button that says create a new layer and add it to the image. Um, yes, we want it uh, same size. We want to have the layer fill type set to white. And go ahead and click OK. And that should put a new white layer above the graph, above our, uh, our work here. And what we want to do now is grab the gradient tool. And uh, let me expand this a little bit. And the gradient we want to choose from this drop down is foreground to background right there. I already have it selected. And we want to go foreground to background and we want to have a radial shape. And like I mentioned earlier, you want the foreground set as black and the background set as white. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit by holding control and rolling down on the mouse wheel. We want to zoom out a lot. And I'm going to put the cursor towards the center of the page and just click and drag a line going out about that far to make it like a white to gray gradient. I'm actually going to undo that by hitting control Z. I'm going to make that even larger. Something like that. That's pretty good. Now I'll press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back into 100%. Maybe zoom out a little bit. That's pretty good. And what we want to do now is we want to come up here to the opacity of this layer and drop this down just a little bit, maybe to like 90% where you can kind of see the man's face beneath it because we're going to need to be able to see where his face is for the reference. So let me zoom in a little more. You can kind of see his face under there. So what we're going to do now is we'll go to the brush tool. Let me close this menu back, shrink that back down. We're going to go to the brush tool and we're going to find our smoke brushes that we've installed. And I'm going to go with this brush right here, this top one. Let me expand this a little bit. You'll see it's brush number two. And um, I'm going to make this brush a little bigger, maybe like uh, 500. You want to position the brush so that it's uh, like right about, it's on the right edge of his face and the bottom of the brush is going towards like underneath his chin like that, like, like position there. Before we do that, we're going to have to click on this layer, right click on it and go to add layer mask. 
We want to use white fill opacity. Go ahead and click add. And now we can go ahead and just click once to create that, uh, that smoke effect there. And what we want to do now is grab another brush, come over here to this side, go like that. Um, let me undo that. You could hit Control Z to undo it and just go back and try again if you don't like how it comes out. Let me try that again. I'll put this one like up here maybe. Okay, that's pretty good. And what I'll do now is I'll grab this brush over here, whatever one that is, what's, what's the name of that? Uh, brush number four. And I'll put this one up here like this. Click again. And let me zoom in a little bit. What we could do now is we could bring the opacity of this layer all the way up. So we no longer see, oops. So we no longer see the, uh, the, the, the man beneath it, just what's showing through the smoke. And you see we have a pretty good starting point right here. So what we could do now is we can go up and grab this really soft brush. And I'm going to shrink that down. We just want to fill in the prominent areas you want to show, like the eyeball. Fill in the eyeball. Color that in with black. And maybe a part of the nose. Maybe bring this down a little more. Fill in some of the mouth. Like that. You just want to be able to see like some of the face coming through in the smoke, like I have in the thumbnail here. You get some of the face is showing through. It's not going to be exactly like mine. As you can see here, it's coming out different these two times I'm doing it. So, um, you know, get some of the face coming through. And what we want to do now is there's too much like solid imagery coming through on this part. So we want to have some more like smoke effect going through there as well. So I want to come back down here to the smoke brushes. I'll grab maybe this one over here, which that one is brush number 22. And uh, I'm going to flip this around to make the foreground color white. And I'll make this brush bigger. And I'll bring this over here and just color that in with white to fill it back in like that. And I don't like how that looks, so I'm just going to control Z that. I'll try it again. And I don't like how that looks. Alright, that's pretty good right there. And from here, you can kind of just play around with different brushes to see what you can do to get it to look right. Uh, let me, like, I'll show you here. I'll bring this down a little bit. I'll try this one up here. That looks pretty good. Um, one thing I've noticed is that this part of the, the smoke right here, you see, like, where, like, the hair strand, the strands of hair are. It's a little too, like, um, a little too sharp. It doesn't look very convincing. We want to soften that up a little bit. To do that, I'll just click on the layer where the, uh, where the image of the man is, and I'll go to the smudge tool. And let me grab a different brush. I'll grab like this softer brush over here, bring the size down, and just maybe click slightly on that just to smudge a little bit so you don't see so much of that, those hair strands showing through like that. Very lightly. Get that out of there like that. And uh, move that one out a little bit. And I'm just going to play around with this a little more. I'll grab another smoke brush. I want to add some more smoke to this side. Maybe I'll try this brush down here. I'll go back to 22. Raise the size of it. Oops. Clicking on the wrong layer. We have to click back on the uh, layer mask layer. And put that in there. No. Got to grab the brush again. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, maybe undo that. I'll try this right here. No. Like that. And I'd say that looks pretty good. So, that's just to give you an idea. That's how you can go about creating this smoke effect using GIMP. I actually think it looks better without that, but whatever. You can play around with it and get it to however you like. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and as always, thank you for watching. You know what? There's one more thing I wanted to show you how to do, and this it, it occurred to me that this tutorial would be pretty much useless if I didn't show you how to do this, and that's how to take the final image and make it have a transparent background so that you can move it around and place it on different backgrounds like you see I've done here. Uh, and you could export it as a PNG or a, or a photo, a PSD file or a GIMP file, whatever you'd like to do with it. So uh, let me go back to here. What we want to do now is uh, the layer, the top layer, we'll right click on that and go to Apply Layer Mask, which is right there. And then we'll click on this, um, this middle layer right here 
and we'll right click that and go to merge down wherever that is there it is uh, merge down and then we, what we want to do is go back to this top layer and right click that and go to alpha to selection and then we want to delete that layer just press the delete button and then we'll just press delete on the keyboard and then we'll go to select none and you now have the smoke image on a transparent background in case you'd like to place this onto another graphic like if you're designing a flyer or something like that so um, that's how that can be done and uh, that should be the end of the video now so again thank you for watching